Next on the News at 10, the Western Idaho Fair. It's the end of the summer tradition for Idaho, but we're still in the middle of a pandemic tonight. How fair organizers are working to keep crowds safe. And ballot initiative. Idaho lawmakers passed a law earlier this year to make it harder for voters to get initiatives on the ballot. Today, the Supreme Court says it's unconstitutional. Cooler than average temperatures are in store for the rest of the week, but also more smoke drifting in. We'll get to details in my forecast. Plus, Monday nights are about to get a little better for those who like to play Powerball. Why tonight's drawing is the most historic one. You're watching Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at 10. We begin the news at 10 with the return of a major event that caps off the end of summer, the Western Idaho Fair, which returned after its cancellation in 2020. All of the exhibits, the food, the attractions, it feels like a return to normal, but there are still concerns over COVID-19 and the Delta variant. Our Katia Stepovic has been at the fair for us all evening. Katia, the pandemic is not over, so what safety steps are being taken uh, this time around with the fair. Well, can we all know that unfortunately COVID cases continue to rise across the gem state? And even though the Western Idaho Fair is indeed an outdoor event, they are still taking some precautions to help slow the spread of COVID-19. It's something many of us missed last year. The food, the rides and exhibits. Well, tis the season because the Western Idaho Fair is back. The fair has been and the Expo Idaho has been down for a year and a half and we tested the public on what they wanted to do and how interested they were if the fair was the closer to be open and we were overwhelmed with people that say we want the fair to come back. Bob Batista, the director of the fair, says rain or shine, the show must go on, but the layout is a little different from years past. We followed the CDH guidelines and then at the same time we said, what are we going to do? And so we took into consideration this is a primarily an outdoor event, so the air helps us with that. We've widened the aisles in the indoor space where we have the booths and exhibitors that can do that. While some made a point to mask up at the fair, a mask mandate was not something the organizers thought was best. We are providing masks at every uh, ticket booth you can come in, at our information booth. Uh, we have hand sanitizers. We distribute hand sanitizers to every food booth and every commercial booth. We're just trying to do everything we can to make sure this is safe for people to come out and do. And it's a personal choice, and you can still come out and enjoy the fair with a mask or without. It's up to you. St. Alphonsus is offering vaccinations at the fair four days this week, reminding people that as normal starts to creep back in, the pandemic is not yet on its way out. So here we are today with safety precautions in, letting people make a choice of how they want to come down here and enjoy the fair, and we're excited to be open again. And we've heard it time and time again, medical experts urging everyone to mask up regardless of vaccination status, especially when you're in a large group setting like this one. But if you feel comfortable and you're able to distance from one another, come down to Western Idaho Fair. It is absolutely such a blast. And I don't know, Kim, Mark, maybe you'll be able to try your very first turkey leg or something like that. Like you did today earlier on the news at four. Yeah, that was a good one, Katia. All right, the action uh, wraps up at 11 tonight and it opens back up again tomorrow at noon. Katia, thank you.